Hey everybody, um, so I got my Bells of Steel Hydra rack yesterday. Took about four hours to assemble by myself. Um, that included the lat row, um, the, the trolley arms. I opted for those. I even put a little uh, shiny aluminum back there to fancy it up a little bit. Did that on the uh, backside here too on both sides of these. Um, this really isn't going to be a review because I'm coming from a Amazon El Cheapo um, basic $400 rack that I bought in 2019 little 2x2 two two rickety thing really worked good for me but uh, and it's nothing compared to this I mean this thing is a tank you know it's got the laser cut numbers all the way down um, west side hole spacing I mean this is a uh, true 3x3 three three rack with 5 8 holes so you can use uh, rogue attachments and they'll fit perfectly on here not saying all of them will fit but you know you can see I got the rogue spotter arms because the uh, bells of steel arms were out of stock when I decided to get them and then uh, Rogue was having a sale, so I got these for two hundred dollars shipped. So it's fifty bucks more than the uh, Bells of Steel. Um, and then when these showed up at my door, the, <laughs> the Bells of Steel had them back in stock. So could have saved fifty bucks, but it is what it is. Um, you can choose your color for your straps. I chose blue, even though. Don't really have anything else that's blue in here. But I said, what the heck, I'll get blue. Um, got the J cup or the sandwich J cups also. Um, one thing I wish they did was the UHMW should have been a little bit longer here to protect your bar so it doesn't hit these, the metal here. I know Gluck on his channel had mentioned that also. Um, got the lap pull down. Really happy with that. It's pretty smooth. Um, <clears throat> got it anchored. You know, back here is just uh, two inch lags into the plywood platform. Um, the other ones here, I got those running all the way into the concrete. I really wish they would have turned these ears here sideways because you can't get to that one there. I mean, it might not need the second one anyway, but I would have liked to have put two, at least in these back two legs. So if I have these trolley arms here extended out, you know, it's, you know, the, that lever action. Um, one thing about the trolley arms I really don't like is this little handle here, and I'll show you in a minute. You know, these are just a little difficult to to get to, and then um, you got uh, safety pin holes here, and then you got the uh, adjustment here, which is one thing the Rogue doesn't have. You can lock these in any position that you want. Um, I really like that. Opens up a lot of possibilities there. Um, I got the uh, pull-up bar. I wish it had, you know, some angled grips, but it's got the uh, fat bar back here and the skinnier bar here. Um, these handles here. Oh, and you get this cool um, little pins here. I mean, they're, they're okay. But 
the uh, the handles. They have the um, UHMW lined on the inside to protect your rack. So that was a good thought. Um, you know, overall, man, I am really happy with it. Got the Bells of Steel logo up there. Um, lap pull down came with that handle and that handle. Um, you know, just a couple of basic handles. I'll probably order some more, but I, I got a couple other ones already. It also came with this uh, lap bar here. So you don't pull yourself off the seat when you're trying to do lap pull downs. Another look at the uh, trolley arm. Just some basic powder coated handles here. Not not anything fancy, but they do work. So uh, let me set the camera here. Set the camera down and I'll show you guys a couple things with these trolley arm handles. station when you lower them down you got some dip handles they're spaced out pretty good so you don't really need a dip station unless that's something that you already have or want um, now with these arms here down and you get down here where the west side spacing is you may not have a hole to put your safety pin in so you got to go up or down one hole to get to that um, that's I don't know what they could have done to avoid that <clears throat> um, if there was anything at all but maybe another hole next to these holes in the side here that may have fixed it maybe in a future version they can do that um, but let me get this back up one thing about these trolley arms is you know for chest exercises I mean there's there's no weight here at this stage you can put all the weight you want on that pen and it doesn't do anything. Um, I did see on a channel somewhere, so I can't take credit for this, but if you take a spotter arm and put it on here and put the weight out here on the spotter arm, then you have that weight right away. So I take my rogue arms and flip them upside down, and I'll show you why in a second. Put that in there. And then do it like this because all I have right now are these, you know, for some change plates. And um, so I'm just going to use these until Bells of Steel gets their uh, utility pens back in stock. But basically, That'll go like that, and as you lift it up, it's not going to. Uh, it's 
It's not gonna flip off on you. It's gonna probably put a little clamp on here when I actually start doing that, but uh, I don't think they'll go anywhere anyway. using 25 pound plates right now just to show you resistance back on you. So like I said, I can't take credit for that idea. I saw that. I, I'm sorry, I don't remember what channel that was, but those work good. And then when I get some uh, utility pins, I'll use those and I'll turn the, uh, the spar arm back around the, the proper way, of course. So hopefully they have those back in stock. You know, I can't turn it the other way because it won't fit on there properly because of the uh, UHMW there. Um, so the uh, the lap pull down that operates real smooth. I put some white lithium grease on the uh, poles there. That operates smooth. Really like the. Uh, spotter straps. I've never had those before so that's a big upgrade for me. Um, this whole thing is just a big upgrade for me. I mean I don't have thousands of dollars to to spend all the time so I've been saving for a while to get me something and then I saw Bells of Steel come out with this and figured I'd get uh, more bang for my buck and I th really think they they got a good product here. You know, if you, you can get rogue attachments and fit them on here, and if you want that uh, extra bit of quality, um, I really don't know if rogue's trolley arms are five hundred dollars better than these. I mean, these are five forty nine shipped, and these, like I said, you got these positions here. You can you can position it in. Um, one thing I didn't think of, but really wasn't much I can do. I got to have the rack here. Um, as you can see, my garage isn't just a gym. I actually use this as a workshop, also. Um, you know, I got my saw over there. I built this uh, dumbbell rack. I got some newer bells and some 90 pounders that, when they need to add a little bit of weight, I got some magnetic plates I put on there. You know, my barbells got the Bells of Steel, Arch Nemesis. Um, my trap bar over there. I mean, I don't have a lot of room to put a much more equipment in here. Got that exercise bike there. There's all the cardboard from the, from the rack yesterday. But you see, I, I try to make as much room in here available to me. So I, you know, don't have a lot of space to get a lot of equipment, and I really like this. I got the 43-inch depth because uh, they didn't have the 30-inch in stock, but I'm kind of glad I did that. I like the extra room here. Um, yeah, I really like it. Big old beefy uh, attachment for the lat pull down. So much. <laughs> the last one was pretty chintzy, but it, it worked and got me through a couple years there. Another look around at the uh, trolley arms. I actually found some, because I don't like this. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but that it's really hard to get with one hand. I actually just kind of
kind of do it with my thumb as I'm lowering these up and down, but I found a, I think it's a two and a half inch square with four knobs, you know, one on each corner that I think is going to be much better. And, and they're only like five bucks. Um, I'm going to get those in probably in the next week or so. I got to find out what thread size is on this handle because you can take this off. This just unscrews. The whole assembly comes out and you can screw the knob off. And um, I'll get that and I'll post an update in the uh, description here in the next week or so with a link to those if they work. Um, overall, man, I really like this. I really, really like this. And like I said, it's a big upgrade, so it might be a little biased. That's why I'm not really going to call this a review. I don't think I'm qualified to do an actual review because I've not touched much different brands of equipment. Um, anyway, you guys have a good day.